Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're going to be rebuilding Dream's house from the Dream SMP. We're going to have a little fun with this. We're going to make it more medieval style, but uh, more on more that when we actually get into building to the house and retransforming it. But yep, yeah, let's get right into it. In three, two, one, let's go. So now what I'm doing here is I'm continuing the framework instead of uh, just having the pillars on the side that make it look sturdy and everything, I'm just going around and making it you know, look more structurally sound. Thank you. 
doing now is I'm doing the trim for the other side. So we did already one on the front that you see there, but then now we're doing the other side where uh, this is gonna be nice and continuous. So basically what you see here, you're gonna do on the other side, I'm gonna cut all that out. So then uh, for your view, uh, viewing pleasure, and so it's a nice and lot simpler. And so this video is in a half an hour long. So then right here, what I'm going to start adding is I'm going to start adding these kind of like straps on the side of the house. So then it looks like it's being held down. So it doesn't look like it's just been placed on. So these straps are going to be a little unique. Uh, it takes me a while to figure out what I want to do. When adding uh, like these strap kind of structures onto the roof of your house, make sure to take your time and make it even on both sides. Make it symmetry, uh, have some symmetry in it but also make sure not to put too much but then not too less if you put just a simple uh, block a uh, half slab all the way across it won't look as good as if you use a block a stair and then a half slab then a trap door you have to kind of find a nice good balance of it
So then right here, this is what I meant by I was going to have a little bit of an interesting look to the actual house. I'm adding these kind of like gla uh, bl uh, black stained glass and I'm gonna add some right here I'm adding some cold blocks behind the black stained glass to make it almost like a black abyss look it makes it look very interesting it almost looks like there's no roof any place in the house it's very interesting looking now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start adding the windows and make it more more unique to look at so if I just left the plain walls it wouldn't your eyes would really not want to look at that but adding some windows and maybe some planted pots on the side of your house then it draws your eyes to it and you're like okay my your eyes directly look at those windows trying to look through it and everything and then it'll wander to the roof and that's why we got to have a good looking roof and then also an interesting looking frame if you make your house look interesting people are going to look at it and be like man that's a good house so that's what i'm doing now i'm making it even more interesting by adding these windows these interesting little details So now what I'm doing, staying true to the first build, uh, the original build, I'm adding the gate all the way around. So instead of just using f uh, fences, I'm using fence gates with brick walls to give it almost like a flowing look. But yep, uh, let's continue with the build. I'll shut up now. As you see a little bit of a cut, I put trees all the way around the outside and then adding a wheat field and then just simply adding cobblestone path through the entire thing. I just did that real quickly off camera. You guys can redo that if you want to, but the chances are you're building this in a survival world, not a flat world, so you don't need those trees and everything. They'll already naturally be there. Hello everybody, welcome outside of that time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to do a quick flyby, fly sorry I can't speak today. As we see here, uh, we got a unique roof a little bit, but then also we have this unique like black abyss up here. 
so we used just d uh, black glass and then coal blocks in the back. I wanted to go for something more unique instead of just putting wood right here and then putting the white concrete up here. I wanted to do something way different and that's what I came up with. You can rebuild this block by block if you want to, just make sure to slow down the footage so you can see each block being placed. That's the reason why when I make these videos I try to keep in as much of the me block placing as possible so you guys can rebuild it if you need to block by block. But that's all I got for, for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See ya!